It looks like junk. The gold has rubbed off it. Hey everyone! I thought that I would do another one of those best and worst videos that I did back in the spring and then in the summer. I've had quite a few of you before on previous videos going, well if you don't like it, why'd you buy it? It's because you don't know. You don't know until you've used it beyond a point of return to learn the drawbacks. For me, one of my best purchases has been my classic flap. This is because it's, I got it in the caviar leather, which is slightly more hard wearing than the lambskin, but also it's a best purchase because it doesn't really date. And even though I don't use it as often as I would like, see, here's the thing. I'm saying it's one of my best purchases, but this is not a bag that I use that often because it's quite heavy and it's quite large. And I, since buying that bag, I've kind of found that I prefer a smaller size bag. So the classic flap with the, well, the jumbo size. Yeah, it's my favorite because I bought it years ago. Well, a few years ago and I, and now it's just stupid money. And that's why it's one of my best bags because I just know the value is going up. Actually though, when it comes to Chanel, I have two other bags that I use a lot more and I have done through lockdown. The first one is this. I've been, this is actually uh, from a collection last year, I think. I've been using this because it's lightweight. It's single flap. It doesn't have that annoying double flap and it's not huge. So when I'm just popping to the shops, I can fit everything in it. But the other really good one is the Trendy CC. But if you were to ask me out of all three, what the best purchase was, it is the classic flap just because the value of it is always going up. The next brand is Dior and I've got one particular item that I want to show you and it's actually from their ready to wear collection. So I, I feel that Dior bags, generally speaking, are up there as being some of the better made. They wear quite nicely, They um, the metal doesn't really tarnish, whereas with other like bag brands, uh, I've had issues with hardware being really, uh, like it scratches quite easily or gold rubs off it. I've had that with Hermes, like, um, but with Dior, personally, I've found that their stuff has been really, like reasonably hard wearing, as hard wearing as a lambskin bag can be, which is not very. Well, the ready to wear stuff, I really like from Dior. And I decided to bite the bullet and buy, buy one of their bar jackets. And it was one of the best things I've done. I've worn this jacket so much. It looks really nice if you wear it with a full skirt. I've worn it like that before, or even over a dress. But one of the ways I like to wear it is just with like um, leather trousers, because you've got the soft pinkness of the jacket against the leather trousers or even jeans, and it looks quite nice. It's um, very similar to the Balmain blazer, which is another item that I really think is worth getting if you're looking to buy into designer stuff. I feel like the quality of those is so good and I've always said it, nothing fits quite like a Balmain blazer. They look expensive, they look quality, they fit. If you can get one that fits you really well, because I find that with their fit, it either fits or it doesn't. Uh, and I think that they're really worth getting, but the deal clothes, brilliant every time. And then the, the final thing, which I think is worth it as well, um, are shoes, footwear from Dior. I've got shoes from Chanel and shoes from Dior. I find that both of them actually, the quality of shoes from both places is really quite good. But if your style is slightly more edgy and a bit younger, then I think Dior is a really good one to look at at the moment. And the shoes in particular that, the shoes in particular that I wanna to talk to you about are the Jadior pumps. I've got them in the lower heel height. I don't like the look of the lower heel quite as much as I prefer the higher heel, but I got the lower heel because I wanted these to be a shoe that I could wear in the day, going out, doing whatever it is that I wanna do that day and not have to um, like carry a flat pair of shoes with me. And they are the most comfortable shoe. I've worn these all day to outdoor events, to, like round the shops. They're really, really comfortable. I think the heel is like a 70 or a 75 millimeter, so they're not high at all. So they're the things that I think are worth it. Now onto the things that I think are not worth it. And I feel like this list is a bit longer and I'm not trying to be 
negative i'm just trying to share with you the experiences that i've had so you know so that you know and the first two items are both scarves i was given this scarf back in i think 2014 uh for christmas it's beautiful so this is the monogram i don't think it's the lurex one i think it's the wool one this is you can get this in different colors it is the most fragile scarf i've ever known i i had it dry cleaned and i don't use it now because look hang on let me show you this it hasn't even been worn and there's threads hanging out of it so there's threads hanging out down here there is a big old gold thread hanging out here and you know you would be it's even starting to bobble i don't think i've worn this more than 10 times not even more than five i see the thing is i preserved this as soon as i realized how delicate it was i didn't use it which is a waste in its own right but if you're if you're wanting to get a scarf please don't get this one i think you will find that you end up really having to mother it and look after it to a point where you know, when you buy it, you want to be able to wear it and enjoy it and feel good in it, not constantly worrying about if your ring catches it. That's how I've done it, just on, on like my engagement ring catching on it or, um, or anything really. Anything catches on this thing and it's a nightmare. So that was the first scarf. Then the second scarf, which was again a gift that I got one year, is this one from Louis Vuitton and on the other side it looks like that. And this has done a similar thing in that with this, the weave on it is uh, it's quite loose. So for example, this has got a pull in it that was made, I, I was really looking after this as well. I don't know if you can see there, but it's got a pull just there. But also it's kind of starting to bobble. And if I compare this to a Gucci scarf that I got back in 2009, and this scarf has really been worn. Now, the Gucci scarf, you can see it's been worn, but it it look, it still looks good. It hasn't got like pulls in it that you can see. Whereas these two, I have not worn these many times and they, uh, they've got kind of damage on them, which is a bit disappointing. My next worst purchase is something else from Louis Vuitton as well, and it's this. And I feel, I feel bad for this bag. This is called Artsy. I think it's the mm size i think got this back in 2011 and at the time this bag was pretty new out and i really liked the look of it now the, i've got to say you know earlier i said about the quality if i'm going to try and show you the quality of this bag versus one that is newer and even feeling it i can feel that the quality feels better like the canvas on this feels supple and like fresh whereas on the newer ones to me they feel a bit crispy they feel brittle this doesn't feel brittle at all it feels soft the inside is lined with the most gorgeous uh suede whereas on the newer ones the ones that i've seen anyway um they're lined with like a, a fabric quite like a harsh not very soft fabric so i do feel like the quality has gone downhill but the reason why this is in one of my worst purchases is and it's not really a fault of the bag it's actually a fault of me because it's like well of course i didn't realize until i started using it how annoying this bag was in terms of being able to organize things it's just one big mess when you put your stuff in it it's one big mess i have thought about getting a bag or a bag organizer for it which i think would sort that out but the quality versus newer stuff is a lot better chanel earrings advanced apologies for any of you who have seen recently a video that i did where i was talking about designer stuff that's junk and falls apart because i've already mentioned this but chanel jewelry actually quite a few jewel costume jewelry from a lot of these brands is not good i will demonstrate here this is a pair of chanel earrings and all of the stones have fallen out all of the jewels or whatever you will spend the whole rest of your life going back to Chanel, having them stick back the stones, only to give them back to you and it happens again. It's really annoying. And actually what's really annoying is that with Chanel, so when I when you go and you look at the brooches or earrings, so much of the stuff that has got the stuck in pearls and stones is like the prettiest thing. So you naturally want to get that, but then you buy it and it ends up falling apart. Whereas if you get something that is like 
one solid piece of metal or metal with enamel inlay, something that can't go wrong, then it's a better thing to buy. Christian Louboutin. I do like some of his stuff, but I don't like others of it. And some of my worst purchases have been the platform pumps from him. I feel like I've, I, as I'm getting older, I feel like I'm going off the red sole. There was a point in time where I feel like the red sole looked kind of like quite exclusive, quite cool. And then I feel like um, it kind of decreased. Does anyone know what I mean here? I I'm, I'm hope I'm not offending anyone. It's just my personal opinion. But my worst purchases have been platforms with the red sole. And then my final, which I'm just going to get actually, while you're there, I'm just going to pick it up off the floor. My final worst purchase has been these. These boots from Chanel, and it's a real, it's a shame. They're really nice as well. These boots I bought a couple of years ago at Christmas, and they've got pearls down the back of them. The reason why these have been my worst purchase is because these pearls, when you wear them, they get caught on everything. Paving slabs. If you try and drive the car in these, they even sometimes get caught up on the carpet in the car. They've ended up being the most underused, annoying boot that I've got. And you know, knowing Chanel, you've got to question whether those pearls are even going to stay on there in the longer term. So these are the kind of thing where I look at them, they've ended up, it's a shame, they've ended up being something that sits on the shelf in my room and they look really good, but I cannot wear them as much as I had hoped that I could. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped. And I will see you in the next video.